Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. I had a bad internet connection today uh, due to that. Uh, even I am speaking, uh, you know, I was, I mean, you guys were not able to hear me, right? Yes, right. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, so as a part of this, uh, you know, demo session three, uh, I would like to show a couple of other uh, uh, two examples of the, uh, you know, practical attacks like uh, denial of a service, which is the a very famous network related attack, which is called as a distributed denial of a service attack. And then when it comes to the web application part, how do we perform the brute force attack on the login page? Okay, so these two different attacks I am going to uh, you know explain and you know I'm going to show the uh, demo today, right? So first let's start with the uh, denial of a service attack, right? So what is this uh, denial of a service attack is? uh you know it's like in, in the name itself we have right denial of service attack correct denying some sort of a service to the legitimate user so that you know they cannot be able to access it okay so that is what uh, the denial of a service attack is all about for an example uh let's say you you guys are accessing this meeting right so it might have some sort of a limit. Okay, maybe uh, 50, 100, 200, and etc. Correct. So let's say the limit is 100. Okay, the limit is 100. So what attacker will identify it? The What attacker will do it now is he will create a fake 100 accounts and he will join this meeting. Okay. So if this is a situation, you know, after 100 people, you know, have joined into the meeting, if any new user is trying to join or legitimate user is trying to join in this meeting, it is not going to allow them to, uh, you know, listen to the sessions or they, they cannot able to join this meeting, right? So this is also one type of a denial of a service attack only, right? Attacker knows that, okay, these guys have the... Uh, you know, threshold limit of 100 and he created the uh, 100 different accounts and he joined into the meeting before legitimate people have joined in it. And when now the new people are trying to join and access the meeting, it shows that, you know, error message to them, right? Similarly, if you have any kind of a service which is running in your system, it could be, let's say, web server, okay, your website. Uh, you thought that okay, uh, we are doing the we, we are we have the we have um, uh, let's say mid size organization or maybe you know we can expect only one lakh traffic to our website, right? That is what the limit. What you have uh, you know uh, what what your server is able to handle it. So attacker can able to initiate fake traffic or malicious traffic to consume all those. A limit it could be 10,000 or a 1 lakh then after that if any new user is trying to access your website it says that service is not available right hope hope with these two examples you got to know that what is mean by denial of a service attack right attacker is overwhelming with all the traffic to the target to consume all the resources it could be network it could be server uh, you know, a CPU, right? Or any kind of application which is running in the server. Depending on the type of a packet or depending on where he is targeting, the attack scenarios will be different. I'll show you one or I'll show you one example over here, okay, by taking the two different operating systems. I have a Kalinux operating system, okay. So this Kalinux operating system is the attacker system as it is. And I'm going to target the Windows operating system. Okay. Windows is my uh, <clears throat> target operating system. Right. So I'll first identify what is the IP address of my Windows operating system by giving the command like ipconfig. 
So my IP address is 192.29, right? 192.168.192.29. So this is what which I am targeting. So to perform the high number of traffic, or to to maybe you know just explain you how this attack works, we need to send more number of traffic to the target because we want to overwhelm uh, the target system by sending a lot of traffic to it. Correct. So how do we do that? Uh, we we have a tools actually. You know we have a tool called as a hping tree. Okay, we have a tool called as a hping tree. So this is very famous firewall testing tool. Uh, you know this tool is something which is used like once you created the firewall rules, and when you want to see whether the, the rules are properly working or not, you need to replicate or send the same kind of a traffic. Then only you will be able to see whether the packet is dropped or whether the packet is allowed, right? So it's it's kind of a tool, okay? Firewall testing tool. There are a lot of options with this tool. Okay, this tool can help us to do, uh, you know, very uh, in-depth scanning. You will be able to modify the IP packet header. There are a lot of options in it. So what I'm going to do is by using this tool called as a hping3, I am going to send the traffic to the target operating system. Okay, if you see here in the options, there is something called as a under uh, hyphen i. Okay, interval fast, faster, flood. There are three options if you see here, right? Fast, faster, flood. So by using this, you know, options in this tool, I can able to send the traffic to the target system. See, I'll be not able to generate so much traffic because this is just an example which I am doing it in my local network only. Uh, you know, actually, but uh, real real hackers they will have so many interfaces, very good uh, you know internet connectivity where they will be able to send GBs, TBs of traffic at a time to the target, uh, even to clear such type of a traffic for the victim. It takes a lot of time. Just to make you understand how how the process works, we'll use this example, right? So I'll use this HPing three to generate the traffic. Uh, and you know, uh, and we'll observe you know what kind of a spikes it is giving in the Windows operating system uh, for the network and for the CPU, right? So let's use the hping3. Okay, so I'll just give the command like hping3, and what sort of a packet we will send it is. You, you have an option. You know, you can define whichever the packet you want to send it. Uh, you can define it. I want to send uh, ICMP packet. Okay. Which is, I think, the default uh, packet, or you can just mention hyphen hyphen ICMP. That is also fine, right? You have a lot of options here. You can see hyphen hyphen ICMP, hyphen hyphen UDP, hyphen hyphen raw packets. You have a lot of different options over here. It's a big tool. You can also send SYN packets as well. So I'm going to use ICMP packets over here. So hping3 hyphen hyphen ICMP. Okay. And how many packets I want to send? You can also define the count. Right. Let's say I want to send 100 packets or 200 packets or 300 packets. You can also define that by giving hyphen C, okay, which is the count. Right. Let's say let's do some quick small practical hyphen C. Let's say I want to send 100 packets at a time. Right. I can define 100 packets, and then I want to use something called as a fast, okay, hyphen hyphen fast. So it's going to send 10 packets per second. Okay, that's what the fast does. Uh, faster, I think it's going to send 100 packets per second or more than 100 packets per second. We have something called as a flood. So it takes the maximum uh, bandwidth from our network and it's going to send the packets without looking for the responses. Okay, I'm using faster over here. Then we will move to the flood and we'll observe how it uh, works. Then let me give the IP address of my target, which is let's give the IP address over here. IP address over there. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, 192.168.192.29. Right. So before I hit the enter, let me go to the Windows operating system and let's look into the uh, performance of the CPU. Right, I am opening the task manager. So, yeah, let, let, uh, or else you can directly uh, go to the performance monitoring. Yeah, so 
So this is my performance monitoring. As of now, there is no spikes. Everything is like to the bottom line. Uh, okay, let it be. And let's now go and hit that command. And let's see if there is any uh, spikes over here. Okay, yeah. So it sent 100 packets. There is no much difference, I can say. Right? No, no, this is different perform performance monitoring. Let's go to task manager. Sorry. I think there is a small spike. That's what I can see. I think this is also same. But let's go, let's go and look into the task manager. Yep. Okay, here we can see some spikes. Uh, okay, instead of 100, let's go and send 10,000 packets. Okay, we might have a very high uh, you know rate of spikes right same command i am just uh, you know modifying it thousand cursor will not work right <laughs> Only use keyboard. Yeah. So here, instead of 100, let's give 10,000 and hit the enter. And let's go and observe the spikes there. Okay, 10,000 packets are also done. Now open the task manager. There we can see all of the things properly. Right click on the taskbar. Or just type task manager. Right click on the task task bar. Okay, right click on the task bar. Uh, it is open. Down. Okay, yeah, it's open, right? Now go to process. Process on let's go to process networking, you also find. Let's go to networking. Okay. Uh maximize. right okay now let's go and hit the traffic so if you see now uh it is in kbs and the line is you know uh, the bottom now let's go and hit the same thing okay upper arrow uh and enter yep enter just 100 we need to modified to 10,000, right? Yep. Get to the target and checking uh, the network performance Okay, how it is uh, you know, increasing uh, over here. Right. Yeah. Make ten thousand and hit the enter, and let's go and observe the spikes. <laughs> is my screen is lagging for anyone? Okay, you can see now. There is a spike. Right. Yeah, this is Yeah, you can see the spikes there, right? This is with, I mean, just in my internal network only, you know, I was able to generate, uh, you know, kind of a spikes over here. That to one system to one system. Okay, but attacker will have something called as a 
zombie network okay i mean what he will be doing is after compromising hundreds of thousands of devices into the internet okay by utilizing uh, maybe you know by, by using um, uh, you know compromising those systems with uh, different hacking techniques he will use those systems or he will convert those systems as a zombie systems you know through which he will be generating so much traffic which is pointing to the same system right it's like attacking uh, hundreds of people or thousands of people on a same person right and if that is the case he cannot be able to handle it correct and then once it reaches that particular limit it becomes unavailable okay that is what the a denial of a service and distributed denial of a service is all about right he will generate so much traffic okay to the target server uh, by using multiple uh, clients to overwhelm the resources okay once it reaches that limit the other systems will not be able to access it clear guys this is just like one part of the denial of a service attack example uh, you know we we can send uh, sin packets if it is a web server okay uh, maybe you know to create the half open uh, connections okay uh, yeah that is a different case and we have metasploit also through which we can also perform such type of uh, attacks right uh, any questions here on this denial of a service attack uh, guys is it clear to you So, say uh, attackers continuously hitting the multiple uh, users. Yeah, correct. So, it, 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 like servers or network devices which he wanted to attack. Okay. So, in my, in my case, I have just defined ten thousand packets. In their case, they might define unlimited packets. where it will be continuously day and night it will be flooding so always it is general the service got it so sai and unless if he is doing network monitoring your voice thing the voice is breaking like water you are yeah. trying to yeah we are not getting completely hey sorry guys today actually i have very bad internet uh but Okay, maybe you resolve that issue today. Maybe we'll continue from tomorrow. Is it fine? Yeah, that is that is fine. Okay. Uh, actually, um, you know, I'm about to reach my uh, home. Okay, so uh, I was I'm outside. Okay, because of that, I think this network fluctuation is there. But I have very stable internet connectivity once I go back. Okay. How much time you will reach to home? <laughs> I will take time. Okay, I will okay. take time. I think uh, tomorrow. No, sure. you, 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 now I think it's fine. Okay, I I got good internet connectivity, but sometimes it is breaking because uh, the kind yeah. of location where I am right now, I think it is not. Yeah, uh, in between you, know, you are not. Good. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, we will continue tomorrow. Then no issues from my side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hope hope this this particular attack right. What what uh, I have demonstrated to you. Yeah. Uh, i hope you got it yes right okay even i thought of showing you how to, how do we uh, perform the brute force attack on the uh, application because that is also another interesting topic for many of you right yes uh, so say one more question uh, yeah so in this uh, scenario the attacker also uh, set a time limit in it like the user see uh, setting like Ten thousand or one million or whatever, like that. The time uh, limit also uh, we can set. Uh, sorry, hacker set. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We can do that. Let's say uh, we can define the uh, intervals. Okay. Oh. After okay. one hour, fifteen days, fifteen minutes, ten minutes. You know, this much traffic I want to send. So those kind of uh, customized options. You know, we can do it. I mean, this is of course <laughs> we will not be testing it. Yeah, uh, in the real time, until unless if you have a proper uh, permissions to do that, uh, mainly we don't do it on the production part. 
but and unless if you are not aware of such type of an attacks you cannot help the organizations to secure them right so okay, yeah okay. that is the main intention of uh, learning first all need, of this kind of uh, attacks hmm. first need to identify the uh, attackers okay mm-hmm. correct we have to learn the things like an attacker then use all the tricks and techniques to help the organizers to secure it or you know make the secure, secure environment or secure products and implement okay. the policies identify the gaps security gaps okay okay so that the risk can be easily mitigated yes okay yeah so from tomorrow uh, we'll uh, actually you know start with the sessions right um, because i think uh, now you got to know that the way you know i am going to uh, show you the practical examples uh, right so yeah so from tomorrow we'll start actual session guys okay sir yeah okay right and i have another update also for you for you uh, from the institute uh, point of view right they are actually conducting uh, i think uh, some soft skill uh, training program for the freshers okay if someone is also interested uh, i mean because for most of the freshers i i feel it is very important to uh, learn the soft skills in in terms of you know how do we make the communication internally or you know with the client so those kind of uh, trainings also there okay along with it you can just uh, ch- check with them i think some of the uh, modules uh, they are also giving it for the free right utilize that okay got it thank you yeah cool guys uh sorry for the inconvenience right um so yeah we'll connect uh, tomorrow uh, yeah that's what i have for the today uh, let me know guys if you have any questions i'll take it up hello yeah uh so i prem i will need to uh, this mobile application as well and uh, api no first we are starting with the basics right network and web application after that you okay. can apply the concepts on the uh, mobile and uh, uh, apis because most of the things are the same right the kind the tools what we use the, the techniques what we uh, perform only few other things that you need to learn i think if you do some self learning you will be able to you know easily uh, you know uh, perform those uh, testing as well in the future okay yeah yeah guys any other questions uh, i can see some of them in the chat cool guys then huh? if you don't have any questions we'll connect tomorrow